Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Grip Roller Skates. I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center and when I'm not bringing you world-class tutorials, my cousin makes me scrub the floor. Today, our topic, the topic du jour, is going to be answering the age-old question, am I too old to roller skate? I get this question asked of me online, in messages, in comments, in person. Almost always, ironically, the person who's asking me if they are too, roller, too old to roller skate and I ask them, hey, how old are you? And it turns out they're like 27 and I laugh in 55, you know? I just laugh because rarely is it a person who is actually old who's asking that. So let's just put aside the actual number of years that you've been on the planet as a barometer as to whether or not you should skate, okay? Let's just kind of forget that right off the bat. Because here's the deal. There is an emotional, mental, and physical component that goes into skating. Your decision to start skating, your willingness to continue skating, your ability to skate, etc. So let's just go through those three aspects of it and see if any of this helps you. I have literally taught thousands of skaters how to skate. And I am telling you, this is the number one question I get asked. So, physically, do you feel weak? Do you feel out of shape? Are you not once the athlete you were? This comes up quite often. So when we think about skating, when we think about the physicality of it, we often think, oh my God, but I used to be such a great athlete. Or conversely, I was never taught how to be athletic. I never learned. Or I have injuries. Or um, I am out of shape and I'm overweight. You guys, listen. Don't let that be a barrier to you to start skating. Because if you keep your expectations in line with your current abilities, you will do just fine. When I say keep your expectations in line with your current abilities, tip, don't look at people just killing it on social media and think, oh, that's the standard. That's the level of where I need to be skating. It is not. Your skating is a personal journey where you will discover your physical sense of self where it is currently. Please understand that as you start skating and you start acknowledging your body, you start becoming better acquainted with your body, you start discovering new ways to move your body, it will all be healthy and it will energize you in ways that you cannot even imagine if you can manage the mental aspects. Mentally, when people say to me, am I too old to roller skate? Oftentimes it's more of an aspect of they have not tried anything new in a long time. Is that where you're at? You just haven't tried anything new. You haven't challenged yourself in a new way. All you need to do realistically for the mental aspect of skating is to understand technique and let technique guide you. I say in my videos that I'm here to teach you technique to help you with flow and then style is the choice that you make, okay? Oftentimes, particularly in our society, as we are presented with images on social media, what is highlighted most is style. In our current society, we are not necessarily pushed to master a fundamental and then break the rules. We are pushed towards something that looks all rule breaking. When we're trying something new, it, I do not suggest you go for the rule breaking aspects of it first. I suggest that you hone in on the fundamentals and you really work the fundamentals and let the fundamentals guide you. 
The reason that we talk in skating so much about body weight transfer and balance realistically is to get the best result. This will keep you from injuring yourself. This will keep you from making your experience fear-based. If you go with technique, it graduates step by step by step and will be most helpful. So whether you are 22 years old just starting skating or you are 82 years old starting skating, we all start at the same spot, which is fundamentals and doing them correctly. Now you may say to yourself, listen, physically I'm in decent shape. Mentally, I think I, I, I'm, I'm willing to try something new and I'm willing to tackle the fundamentals. But in reality, it's more of an emotional situation where I feel like I have a lot of self-doubt and maybe that's why I'm thinking, oh, I'm just too old to roller skate. But when reality, you are fearful of your own self-doubt or you're fearful of the criticisms of others or the judgments of others. Oftentimes when we try something new, we have people in our family and friend circle who look at us and just think, oh my God, that's crazy. You should not be doing it. In reality, they're projecting their own fears onto you and they look at you and they care about you and don't want you to get hurt. But in reality, that is not your reality. So when you think, am I too old to roller skate? Is it just your reaction to self-doubt, fear of failure, fear of criticism, fear, uh, fear of being out socially and having to put yourself out there? Is it that? Is it really that? Because I guarantee you it's probably that. And it's really not just your age. So when we say to ourselves, am I too old to really stop thinking about the age and stop thinking about that number is when I should stop growing, when I should stop changing, when I should stop developing, when I should stop playing. These are the things that keep us youthful. These are the things that keep us alive. And I truly believe that skating can benefit everyone at every age. Now, listen, when we are younger physically, we are capable of doing things that we cannot do as our body ages. Your brain when you are younger is a lot more flexible and it's more erratic and it's more crazy and your body movements reflect that. But as you age, you should absolutely be moving your body in different ways. Something that is more natural and more organic with how your brain is operating. So let me tell you from personal experience what it has been like for me. I am 55 years old. I do not skate the same as I did when I was a child. I do not skate the same as I did when I was 12 years old. Heck, I don't even skate the same way I did five years ago. Does it make my skating experience less? Does it make my skating experience less important to me as an individual? Does it make it less important to my life? No, it's just that I move more in concert with how my entire body is moving. When I go to a skate park now, I am not trying to get air out of the bowl. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to cruise. I am trying to be graceful, have it look beautiful, have the ebb and flow and the up and down of the weight dropping and the balance feel like one big run through the whole thing. I am not trying to slide on the coping. Many people are, and I want you to, and I cheer you on. But at this stage for me, that is not something that my body really wants to do. There are parts of my brain that are like, that isn't a good idea. You should probably not. And as you know, when we get older, we actually do. If we listen, we're like, okay, that might be a step too far, but it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy the movement, that I don't enjoy the process. 
You guys, I used to, used to be a uh, figure skater. We're talking jumps and spins and the whole deal, right? And I absolutely loved it. Now, I can still do single jumps. It's me one revolution in the air. And when I do it, I'm telling you, I love it when I do it and it's super fun. But every time I land one of those jumps, I'm like, thank God. Thank God. Because it's not something that my body really naturally wants to do. I really have to give it something. So if you're at a point where you're saying, am I too old to do something? A lot of times we just need to modify what it is we're doing and get the mind, the body, the soul, and your emotions all together. And when it's working together, it looks great. Listen, last week I was skating with this gal. I'm going to tag her in her. Her name is Retro. And her and I used to skate roller derby back in the day. Super fun. And her and I were talking about this very topic and she was doing, um, she was doing like crazy legs. And literally, this girl is the best at crazy legs. Why? Because this is the movement she's been doing forever. Okay? But what I see when she does crazy legs is the smoothness and the beauty in her movement. To see a woman who's my age just killing it, being super smooth and loving what she does, okay? If you are in your teens, 20s, you definitely are not too old to roller skate and you're definitely not too old to, to play roller derby, to go to the skate park, to do all the crazy stuff. Still in your 30s, when I skate a roller derby, I have women who too, were in their 50s just trying out. Your 40s, your 50s, you're fine. Everyone can go to the rink. Everyone can learn how to figure skate. It's just doing it within your abilities and then gently pushing your abilities when you feel like it's something that is organic and natural to where you're at in life. Probably the number one I'm saying is, number one thing I'm saying is, you are not too old. Go after the fundamentals and say, I have enough time on this planet to master these fundamentals. Get it into flow, express yourself, and make this a lifelong journey. Do not judge yourself, your progress, on the thoughts of others, and particularly in contrast with things that are going on on social media. You do not need to say, I am not good enough because I saw these people on social media and they're doing this and I am not, okay? If anything, skating is a form of individual self-expression and make sure that every time you're out there skating, you show us who you are. All right, skaters? That's my rant for the day. Thank you for coming along. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and share it with a friend so I can keep helping bring out the best in skating tutorials for everyone who wants to join skating. I love you guys. Go ahead, strap your skates on, and go practice.